Good morning. Here's your Montana weekly weather briefing for the week of Monday, April 1st through April 7th. I'm meteorologist Zach Utek with the National Weather Service office in Great Falls. If you are watching this after today, then you may wish to check one of the National Weather Service web pages or call any of the Montana National Weather Service offices for updates as conditions may have changed. A strong storm system will impact much of Montana on Friday and Friday night. A push of Pacific moisture from the southwest will interact with a frontal boundary that's going to be draped across central Montana. And while snow may mix in with rain at times, the atmosphere does appear to be cold enough for a period of light to moderate snow over parts of northern and eastern Montana. Light to moderate precipitation is also expected across western and southwestern Montana, but due to warmer temperatures aloft, accumulating snowfall will be restricted to the high elevations with mainly a rain event expected in the valleys. Snowfall amounts are uncertain at this time, however hazardous travel conditions are possible due to reduced visibilities and also snow-covered roadways. In addition to the widespread precipitation, a strong low pressure center will develop along the front and move across southern Montana into western South Dakota by Friday night. This setup will be conducive for strong northeasterly winds over approximately the eastern third of the state, with wind gusts potentially exceeding 30 miles per hour. Driving conditions could become difficult for high-profile vehicles on north to south-oriented roads. Additionally, blowing snow may also lead to hazardous travel in this region. Another low-pressure system will move into the Intermountain West by Sunday of this upcoming weekend, and at this time it appears more accumulating snow is possible over a large portion of the state. Colder air is expected to move into the state through the day, so mostly snow is expected over western and central Montana, with a rain to snow transition possible over the east. It is important to stay tuned to the latest forecast as we approach this weekend because there is still considerable uncertainty regarding the amount and exact location of the precipitation that will accompany this storm system. Here is a map produced by the Weather Prediction Center showing total liquid precipitation accumulation for the next seven days and the majority of this precipitation is expected to fall from the two weather systems that will affect the state on Friday and Sunday. The heaviest precipitation totals are forecasted over the mountains of southwest and south central Montana and also over the higher terrain of the northwest. Around an inch of liquid accumulation will be possible in these areas with generally less than a half inch or even less than a quarter of an inch for the valleys and the plains. Since relatively mild temperatures are forecasted over southwest and western Montana through this week and with the potential for rain falling on existing snow at locations above 6,000 feet and mainly on Friday, rivers will likely be on the rise in these areas. The outlook for the first two weeks of April from the Climate Prediction Center shows slightly better chances for above normal temperatures across all but the northeastern corner of the state and the precipitation maps on the right indicate slightly better chances for above normal precipitation over western Montana but good chances for above normal precipitation for central and eastern Montana. In summary, two low pressure systems look to bring widespread precipitation to Montana. On Friday and Friday night, light to moderate snowfall accumulations are possible over the northern and eastern plains and also over the high elevations of western and southwest Montana. The primary impacts with this system will be hazardous travel conditions due to snow and ice covered roadways and blowing and drifting snow due to strong east or northeast winds. The second low pressure system may bring more accumulating snow to much of the Treasure State on Sunday. However, since this is a longer range forecast, there is still considerable uncertainty with potential snowfall amounts and location. That concludes this week's Montana Weekly Weather Briefing. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to contact any of the Ford National Weather Service offices. We are available 24-7, 365. Have a great day.